Okay, so today we're exploring the contact engagement system uh, on our Go High level. So, contact engagement score is a metric used to measure how effectively and actively a contact or a lead interacts with an organization or business. It's commonly used to assess the level of interest, involvement, or responsiveness of a contact or a lead. So, basically, what we're saying here is that if you have a massive database of leads of contacts that you've been outreaching to either through cold outreach or, or even warm outreach, how do you know which, which of your contacts are the most engaged? Well, this is a great way to sort of ma uh, manage that and actually get some idea of which of your contacts are actually engaging with your, with your services or your emails or your content as opposed to ones that are just ignoring it. So, if for example, if we're doing cold calling and we've started off the cold outreach campaign with um, emailing all 50,000 of our contacts, then instead of having to cold call 50,000 people who may or may not be interested in our services, how about we set up the cold engagement score, um, the engagement score, and um, then we can, you know, phone the ones that are the most engaged that have actually opened the emails that have such some idea of our, our business. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to play this video and let's just see if um, if um, yeah we'll, let's listen to this video and this will explain it in a little bit detail and then I'll demonstrate my engagement uh, sort of system on go high level. If you want the engagement system that I've set up, all the automations and the opportunities and the pipeline, please just let me know in the con in the comments and I will send them to you by email. Okay. Hey there, in this video, I'm going to be taking a quick look at how you can use high levels inbuilt engagement scoring system to better understand your contacts and leads. Engagement scoring or lead scoring as it's more commonly known, is a systematic method used by businesses to evaluate and prioritize potential sales leads or prospects. It works by assigning a numerical value or score to each lead based on their specific actions, such as opening an email, downloading a free guide. Lead scoring helps sales and marketing teams focus their efforts on leads that are more likely to become customers. It can improve the efficiency of lead management and when used correctly, can ensure that sales teams concentrate on the most promising opportunities. Let's take a look. You can access the engagement score control by heading into settings and coming to manage scoring. You'll be presented with this page. But when you first fire it up, there are a few examples in place just to give you a head start. For our demonstration here, let's say you're sending out an email blast to a thousand cold leads promoting a free download. It's an SEO checklist businesses can use to make sure that their website is doing best practices for SEO. Now, obviously what we're actually looking to do is promote and sell our own SEO services. So it would be interesting to know which of your leads engaged with the email and to what extent. So in these existing examples, this one at the top here, it is simply states if an email is opened add one point to the leads engagement score. Now, not everyone's going to open the email and those leads will have zero points. But we're just assigning one point to anyone who at least opens that email. Now, inside our theoretical email, we have a link that drives people to a landing page where they can fill out the form to receive the SEO checklist. Not everyone who opens the email is going to click on the link, but for those who do, let's set a new rule here of email events and the event being clicked. And for this, we'll assign an additional five points. Just click save. So anyone who opens the email is going to get one point. Anyone who actually clicks on the link is going to get five points. And we've got uh, an additional step. What we can also do is as the leads, when they arrive on the landing page, they've got to fill out a form. We can add a new rule. And this time we can say if the action is form submitted, and select the form to be a lead magnet, we can add 10 points to the engagement score. So from these three actions alone, we can see which of our 1000 leads engaged with that email. 
I mean, this is a, a pretty basic example, but there are several other options within the action here, such as purchase payments, survey completion, trigger links, clicks. There's quite a bit going on. By setting these up, we can get a good understanding of who is engaging with the business and who our sales team should consider a priority in order to call first. Once you've built your engagement system, make sure you come over to here and click publish to set it live. Now, if we head on over to the conversations tab, the lead score is visible so you can quickly see which leads are most engaged. And you can filter that list to give you a complete view of who needs contacting first. So we could set the range to be anyone with a score of five or more and apply that filter. Lead scoring is a super useful way of understanding lead engagement so you can direct your marketing efforts at those most likely to buy. But it can also be used to highlight those with a low engagement score who will require further nurturing before the sales team reach out. Use lead scoring within your marketing and better understand your leads. Okay, what I'm loving about this um, Go High Level is this new engagement system that I've set up. So I'm just doing a search for engagement score um, and I'm looking for um, is less than is empty. So let's look for everybody with engagement score who is empty or Engagement score is less than, let's say one, let's see. And then we're going to say, uh, we're going to save it as a smart list, no engagement and save that. Okay, so we've got 42,867 records that have got zero engagement. So now we're going to add these contacts to an automation. And we're going to proceed and we're going to add it to an automation called no engagement. Add to automation. Okay. So now we're going to look for an engagement score that is is in between one and three. And we're going to apply that. And then we're going to save as new, and then engagement, one, two, three. There's 372 contacts that have been engaged between one and three, and we're going to add them to an automation as well. And the automation is going to be between one and three. Okay, now they've added to that automation. Let's go back to our filters and search for is not empty. Uh, so this one is going to be between one and three is between four and four. Save as new. Engagement is four. Save. Total of nine records. And we're going to add them to an automation. After we just select them, of course. Add them to an automation and the automation is Engagement equals four. Uh, 
And then we're going to do another search and we're going to search for engagement is between five and five. Save as new. Engagement is five. And there's actually 54 records. Uh, let's select them all. Engagement equals five. And then we're going to do one more search. And this one is more than five. More than five. And that is just one. So we're going to add six and above, add to automation. Okay, so now you might be wondering what is um, engagement. So engagement is the following. Engagement is an opportunity where we can take a, a group of, um, of customers and we can score them based on certain actions. So, for example, if an email is opened, we add one point. Uh, if an appointment status is confirmed, we add one point. If a contact replied and has this tag, I'm actually going to delete that because we don't need that. If a contact booked appointment and in calendar R&D consultation, add one point. So let's add a score of um, email events. Event email is clicked and we can add one point for that and then we can also add a new rule if email event uh, email opened we've already got that we can say complained we could subtract two points and save we could add a new rule. Let's see that. Uh, say a form submitted. Form is contact form from the website. We could add two points and then add a new rule. Let's say they submitted a survey. That's quite a, a big action. We're going to add two points. Let's see if there's anything else that we need to add survey submitted contact booked appointment we've got a appointment we've got forms we've got contact replied I think that's quite a good action uh, it doesn't have tag so it has tag doesn't have tag okay well I can't really I can't really do anything with that one at the moment but yeah so these are these are some of the points so we've got Quite a few different points there. Wait, if contact booked appointment, if appointment status is confirmed, uh, if email is opened, if email is clicked, if email is complained, or uh, form is submitted, or the survey is submitted. So those are all things that people can get points for. And so if we look at our points over here, we've got engagement greater than five, just the one. Uh, let's look at engagement one two three, and if I just click on that contact there, you can see the engagement is three. And I go next one engagement is two, engagement is one, engagement is one. So. Let's go to the Opportunities tab. So this is where we're going to see our engagement opportunities or pipeline. And you can see here 
um, we've got so far we've got 3186 opportunities that have been posted so far these are increasing as you as um, more people are added I see no engagement quite a few we've got between 1 and 3 372 we've got greater than 3 9 or greater than 4 54 and then greater than 5 is one okay so these here should really be changed so I think I'm just going to refresh this because I think I did change those names actually yeah okay cool so we've got no engagement 3224 that's going to keep on increasing We've got between 1 and 3, 372. Engagement is 4, 9. Engagement is 5, 54. So these are highly engaged leads. And what we want to do really with these leads is we want to follow them up. Maybe we want to use these leads to actually cold call. So, you know, if we haven't called these leads, maybe it's a really good opportunity that these leads are very engaged. Um, so if we've sent them multiple emails, and they've opened those emails for example let's let's take a look at one of these contacts um, if we call them up it's not really much a cold call we can say hey this is um, Ronnie from Levy Jera we sent you these these emails um, you know blah 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 so you can see why um, why it's so why he's got so much engagement because he's opened every single email that we've sent uh, so he's obviously interested in some in some way there's some interest going on there so I would give these these are the guys to give a call now in terms of the automation what's going to happen with automations in terms of engagement is that um, no engagement is, in, is there's a whole lot of people in there So, if their contact engagement score is equal to zero, or is empty, then they're going to be in this opportunity here, in no engagement in that stage, and they'll they'll wait there, and they're going to wait there until. So basically, they they're going to wait there until they start engaging because if they start engaging and get uh, an engagement score of one for example here we go here contact engagement score is two is three is one then they're going to be removed from that previous workflow of no engagement they're going to be updated in the next uh, workflow of engage between one and three pipeline and then they'll sit here, they'll sit here waiting, waiting until they engage even more and get taken to this workflow, which is engagement equals four. And so this is score equals to four. And engagement is, is four, that's in the opportunities, and they, they sit here until engagement is five and then they'll sit there until engagement is six so at any one stage these are the people that we really need to focus on in terms of who's engaged who's in actually opening the emails who's engaging with the company these are the people we need to focus on these are our most engaged customers so um, I hope that uh, makes a lot of sense <laughs>